This is Little People, Big Dreams, Stephen Hawking. Little Stephen was born in Oxford, England, just as a great world war was raging. At night, he would look up at the stars and wonder what else was out there. His parents loved science, as did Stephen and his three siblings. They all ate dinner with a knife, a fork and the company of a good book. Stephen was never top of the class, but at school everyone called him Einstein, like the famous scientist. One day he built a computer from clock parts and an old telephone. Curiosity always came before schoolwork with Stephen, but still he made it into the best universities in England, Oxford and Cambridge. He wanted to solve the mysteries of the universe. Stephen was busy enjoying himself studying cosmology when suddenly he started dropping things and tripping over for no reason. Even his speech became hard to understand. Doctors told him that a rare disease was paralysing his body and he had only two more years to live. Stephen felt like the whole universe was falling down around him. Instead of looking down at his feet, Stephen decided to look up at the stars. Maybe he couldn't control his body, but in order to study the universe, all he needed was his mind. His wife Jane stood by his side and gave him all the support he needed. They had three children and Stephen loved to give them rides on his wheelchair. Stephen turned his attention to black holes, some of the strangest and most powerful objects in the galaxy. So powerful that not even light could escape from them. Or so scientists thought. But Stephen proved that black holes were not so black after all. There was a tiny light escaping from them. It was named Hawking Radiation. By this time, Stephen had lost his voice and found a new one with a robotic drawer. With his new voice, he dictated a book that helped the world understand the meaning of the universe. Stephen believed that one day humans would cross galaxies to live on faraway planets. He celebrated his 65th birthday by taking a zero gravity ride with a team of astronauts leaving his wheelchair for the first time in 40 years. By becoming the most brilliant scientist of today, little Stephen made an amazing discovery. However difficult life may seem, there is always something that you can do and succeed at.